So people are always asking us, what are some ways I can help my team get more complexity friendly? And one of the simplest ways we know is actually how we start a meeting, right? Because, you know, when people come into meetings that we can sort of be coming in from our different places and people roll in and sometimes there's kind of small talk or chatter. None of those are all that helpful in launching a meeting in a way where people are really going to be able to think together and build new ideas together. So the complexity check-in helps you with that. And you can do it in as fast as 10 or 15 minutes, or if you have a really meaty question, you could take half a day just to check in and hear from each of you. But it helps you see the system and it helps groups learn to think together as you are exploring what the edges of a system are so that you can build experiments together. So it's really simple to do. You offer people a question as they come in. You let them think about that question for a few minutes, um, either just being quiet by themselves or writing things down. And then you have the whole group, everybody just lodges their answer to that question. And then the thing that makes it so complexity friendly is then you ask a second round of questions. You say, what did we notice? What were the patterns there? And you ask, what did we see that was in common? That's usually pretty easy to figure out. And then what did we see that was actually outliers? Those tend to be harder for groups to pick up on. And then what did we not see that we might have expected to see? Where were the silent places, the gaps? That one's usually pretty hard for groups to figure out at first, but over time, groups get much better in noticing what are we not talking about. And of course, there's real gold in noticing what are we not talking about. You can use the leadership practices to form the basis of the question you ask in the beginning, because that question is pretty important. And as you do that, you get even more complexity friendly, right? So you can ask different questions. One very useful different question is what's surprised you this week or this month or however long it's been since you've been together again? Remember, pushing to surprise helps people be paying attention to the system in a different way. You can try to take multiple perspectives together and say, ask a question like, who are we not listening to well enough? Whose voices are we not hearing? And as you hear about that, you try to figure out kind of who in your system do you need to turn to and listen to better? You can ask us a question about seeing the system. You can ask, um, what are the boundaries we're putting around this issue? And what would happen if we expanded those boundaries? What would happen if we constrained those boundaries? How would that change what we saw as possible? And I think in the experiment and learn habit, I think it's awfully useful to ask about failure. So where are things not going as you expected them to go. And what did you learn from that? That gets the group comfortable talking about what's not going well, talking about failure, and learning and learning together. And over time, as you ask these questions and you try this check-in, you'll find that your group actually learns to see the system and see each other in new and more helpful ways.